In this video, we will be taking a look at how to set up permissions for inventory counting within Square for Retail. To begin, let's head on over to the team section within Square dashboard. From here, click on permissions, and this will show you a list of all the permission sets available to you for assigning to team members. Let's go ahead and click into the store manager permission set. A store manager is typically someone you want to give unfettered access. And so you can always select the full access toggle on this page in order to give them full permissions for inventory counting and other related permissions. Or you can head over to items and observe the four new permissions that are available to you under the stock counting subheading. The first permission here allows you to govern whether or not this user can view unit costs in the midst of account. The second permission allows you to choose whether or not they can initiate and contribute to cycle counts. The third permission is independent of cycle counts and allows you to govern the initiation and contrib contributions to full inventory counts. And lastly, the last permission gives you a chance to govern whether or not this particular member should be able to review and delete full inventory counts. The last permission in particular should be reserved for team members that have a lot of responsibility since committing a full count cannot be undone. I'm happy to give my store manager full access and therefore I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And since I'm not looking to change access points based on inventory counting permissions, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Next, let's take a look at the stock manager role. Once again, I'll head over to the items section. In the case of a stock manager, I want them to be able to initiate and contribute to both cycle counts as well as full inventory counts. However, I do not want them to be able to review and commit full inventory counts. So I have gone ahead and unselected the last permission here. At the same time, I do not want to give my stock manager the ability to see unit costs and running totals when in a counting session. And therefore, I have gone ahead and unchecked this permission as well. Now that I'm happy with this, Permission set, I can hit continue and hit save. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the cashier role. The cashier permission set is one that is largely restricted. And this is simply because for me, cashiers don't really have much to do with inventory counting. And therefore I have prevented access to most of the inventory counting actions by unchecking all of the permissions relating to stock counting. So a cashier will neither be able to start nor review or commit a full or cycle count, and they will not be able to see any unit costs within counting sessions either. I'm gonna hit continue and save. And as a reminder, once you have your permission sets set up, you can head over to team members and assign these permission sets to an existing team member, or you can choose to add a new team member when assigning it to an existing team member, you will simply go ahead into the permission section and hit edit to change their permission set. 